guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth video in the series of self-love and in the first video I talked about my journey with self-love and how it is related to confidence. In the second video I talked about self-love and the mind. In the third video I talked about self-love and the social life and in this video I want to talk about self-love and the soul and of course it entails my conception of the soul and you can replace it by self-love in the heart or self-love and self-romance because this is essentially what this video is about so as usual I'm going to share with you 10 tips on how to cultivate self-love so these are habits that need to be cultivated daily in order to achieve self-love and I suggest that you start either with this video or with the self-love in the mind video because these are both very important and I started with self-love in the mind because I think this is the foundation of self-love but this video is also very important and very dear to my heart so tip number one is to pay attention to the way you talk to yourself and try as much as possible to use kind words and a romantic language when you are talking to yourself just like when you are talking to someone you love or just like when you are talking to your sister or your best friend the way you talk to yourself should be full of love and I find that a lot of people when they are talking to themselves and me including they actually are very harsh with themselves they criticize themselves and they end up bullying themselves the way we talk talk to ourselves is one of the biggest forms of bullying and just like how you don't accept bullying others just like how you don't accept your loved ones to be bullied you should pay attention to the way you talk to yourself and avoid bullying yourself so just anytime you talk to yourself whether out loud or through your mind when you are going over your day what did you do over your actions try to talk to yourself as if you are talking to someone you love and essentially this is the purpose the purpose is to be able to love yourself just like you love any other person and even more because you won't have the energy and the capacity to love others if you don't love yourself first we need to fuel our self-love first in order to love someone else number two is a fun thing which is to take dancing classes and I find that whenever I'm dancing whether it's at home or when I used to take dancing classes I used to really embrace my body and be fully immersed in the moment and I would end up having so much positivity towards myself towards my body and the movement with the music the mind and body connection that the dance creates is amazing so dancing and taking dancing lessons is an amazing way and a fun way to love yourself number three is be experience oriented instead of results oriented and the results will come you will achieve your goals so something that we all do is we focus so much on the results and this is something that I do especially when I'm studying I want a good grade I focus so much on the grade that sometimes this in itself brings me so much anxiety that I end up panicking and it actually affects my grades so when you are doing something get fully immersed in it enjoy the process for example when you're studying enjoy the process of learning take your time don't focus so much on the results and the results will come and this is something that you can apply to many areas of your life and essentially when you are focusing on the process you are very much in it that you are putting more effort than if you are focusing on the results and at the end of the day the whole life is made up of this process of everyday mundane things that will make up your life so if you enjoy the process then you have lived your life to the fullest number four is to pay yourself first so take care of yourself first whether it's taking care of your body grooming sleeping taking care of your health taking care of your mental health or actually paying yourself like by saving first by like paying your activities first your hobbies your passions so whether it's monetary or whether it's by the energy that you put or the attention that you put pay attention and pay yourself first and this will be very beneficial for you for your self-love and for the love of other people number five is realize that surrender and acceptance are not defeat 
So you have to accept the moment and you have to surrender to the moment in order to make change in your life. And if we are always criticizing the moment and if we are always in this um, fight between what's happening right now, you can't actually change what's happening. So surrendering and acceptance will lead to better outcomes and will lead to you changing your life and to self-love. Number six, be self-assured and okay with your imperfections, whether they are related to your physical appearance or other areas that you are working on because you're never going to achieve this idealized image of the thing that you are working towards so you'll always get pretty close to it but you will never achieve it so instead put your effort do the things that you need to do but don't obsess over your imperfections number seven is to do something pleasurable daily whether it's taking a long shower whether it's taking a walk whether it's indulging in an awesome meal whether eating chocolate, anything that brings you pleasure, do something small every day. Don't wait for a big occasion to treat yourself. Just do something small and keep it balanced, but do something every day. Do something that brings you pleasure. Number eight, be lighthearted and adventurous. So take things lightheartedly. Don't be obsessed with doing things right. Take things with a grain of salt. Take other comments with a grain of salt and live life as lightheartedly as possible. Number nine is be open enough to receive. I've touched base on that in my social life video, but this can apply to many things. So be open-minded to receive compliments, praise, appreciation. They usually come from an honest place, from someone who sees you from an external point of view and sees you more clearly than you see yourself at the moment. So take these compliments, don't block them, receive them. Be open enough to receive them. Number 10 is organize, clean, declutter, and beautify your surroundings. Start by decluttering to have room and time for love, life, affirmations, positivity, and improvement. So get rid of anything that is cluttering your life. Get rid of one thing that you don't use every day. So, so look at your surroundings, pick one thing every day and get rid of it. Also beautify your surroundings. Put on some smooth, sexy music. This will help you with creating this ambiance. And it shouldn't be only about the physical things, it's about your mood. Create this amazing mood. Buy yourself some flowers, organize your surroundings and buy things that brings you joy and happiness. Put some candles and diffuse some essential oils so create this aromatherapy in your house so these are my 10 tips of self-love and the soul so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you didn't you can also give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button and i will see you in my next video may you have a clutter free life